guys welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video so today i'll be talking about breastfeeding must-haves or breastfeeding essentials so if you're a new mom you're a first time mom you're pregnant and expecting your first baby and you're planning to breastfeed and you're just wondering if you need anything else for your breastfeeding then you need to watch this video because today i'll be telling you some of the essential items that you need in order to make your breastfeeding journey a lot easier okay so first on my list today is a nipple balm or a nipple cream this is a must have because i learned very quickly that when you are breastfeeding your nipple is going to get dry and chapped and that's because your baby is constantly sucking on your nipples especially in those first few days postpartum when you are still trying to figure things out or you're still trying to get your milk to start flowing okay and if care is not taken, your nipple can crack and start bleeding, okay? And you don't want that to happen because for some people, that can make them to even stop breastfeeding. So in order to prevent that, you need to get a very good nipple balm. You just need to apply it to your nipples after each breastfeeding session. You can get the Lancino brand. I actually have the Lancino brand, but I couldn't find it for this video. But I also have this Medela one, which has been very good. Nursing pads or breast pad. This is also a must-have especially those first few weeks or months postpartum when the milk comes in and you are leaking every now and then okay if you don't want to go around with breast milk stain on your clothes then you need to get a very good nursing pad okay except you want to go about telling people that you're breastfeeding without actually telling them that you're breastfeeding okay so i have two here you can get any one you don't need to get the branded one this one is from right aid and this is this is from Tommy TP, okay? But to be honest, you can get any one from the regular store. Um, okay, I think I should open this and show you how it is used. Let me move back a little bit. So when you open it, depending on the type you buy, but I believe most of them are very similar, okay? So this part has um, like a sticky thing. So when you take out the sticky part, the sticky, the sticky whatever. So this sticky part goes on your bra or your clothes. And this side, the padded side, goes on your nipple, okay? This will just help to absorb all those little, little leaks here and there. You can keep it like this or you can keep it like this, okay? It's as simple as that. So another essential item on my list today are these um, hydrogel heat packs. I have two of them. These were very useful to me, especially when I feel engorged. You can heat them up in the microwave or put them in the freezer and just place it around your breast, okay? This will help the milk to flow and it also helped me with that pain and discomfort that comes with breast engorgement. Next up is a good nursing bra, okay? So if you are planning to breastfeed, you are going to need some of these nursing bras, okay? Especially the ones that have that clip that allows for easy access when you want to breastfeed your baby. I have one here to show you so when you want to breastfeed you just unclip it like that okay you open up and then you can assess your breast and breastfeed your baby okay i also like to go for the ones without that underwire or metal or whatever they put there because i feel like those ones are usually very uncomfortable for me so it just depends on you whichever one you are comfortable with please get them so the next item on my list today is kind of optional and that's a breast pump okay um you don't need a breast pump if you are most likely going to be around all the time to breastfeed your baby directly from your breast okay but if maybe you walk out outside the home or you're going to be away from your baby at some point and you still want your baby to have breast milk then you might consider getting a breast pump okay and i highly recommend the hands-free breast pump hold on i have one here i'll show you okay so i have these ones here from mom milk two of them i'll put the link in the description box so that you can check it out so initially i started with um the tommy tp breast pump which had wires and cords okay so i remember always having to sit connected to the socket in order to pump some milk i'll always have to take breaks in between to attend to the crying baby or change his nappies okay so i decided to get this hands-free pump from mom milk and it was a game changer okay so in the morning i'll just wake up connect it to my breast and just go about my normal activities and when it's full i'll just bring it out and empty it out okay so 
this is this is a must have okay if you want to make your life easier as a breastfeeding mom milk storage bag okay if you are going to be pumping breast milk and storing your milk then you need a milk storage bag to freeze the milk okay this is from uh, swiss pass i've used the lancino one i've used the tommy tp one you don't need any specific brand okay i've even used a random one from kmart you just need a good milk storage bag as long as it can store your milk properly without spilling the milk okay yeah that's it milk bottle again if you're going to be pumping if you're going to be expressing milk then you need a milk bottle to put in the milk and feed your baby okay i use the tommy tp brand i've heard a lot of moms say that they use the dr brown's uh brand you can use any brand that you prefer any brand that works for your baby any brand that you're okay with or any brand that nathan is screaming <laughs> Or any brand that doesn't make your baby to swallow a lot of air because that can cause colic for your baby okay um, i feel like bottle also helps to transition your baby from the breast to using the bottle especially if you walk outside the home so yeah that's it about the bottle my next must have item is some type of nursing cover or a muslin cloth okay i loved having one with me because i normally use it to provide some privacy for myself especially when i'm out in the public and i needed to breastfeed my baby you can get the actual nursing covers the ones that go around the neck or you can just use um yeah i think you can use any clothes at all you can even use a lightweight blanket just anything that is not too thick or too heavy that would make your baby to be sweating in there okay so next item i would like to talk about is a milk catcher or a milk collector okay i don't have one here with me i didn't use one to be honest but a milk collector or a milk catcher is pretty much what it sounds like uh, it's very similar to the cup part of a breast pump so you just insert it into your bra and attach it to your nipple and what it's going to do you're just going to collect your let down milk or any milk that is leaking out especially when you are breastfeeding on the other side of your breast and then of course you can store the milk okay this is just another way of building your breast milk stash in the freezer next on my list is a bottle sterilizer okay so if you are going to be pumping and expressing milk then you need a bottle sterilizer okay even if you are going to be formula feeding you need a bottle sterilizer as well i use the tommy tp brand i use it to sterilize all the bottles the teeth and some parts of the breast pump okay i would um i'll have it linked in the description box i've had this tommy tp sterilizer for four years now because i used it for my first baby four years later it's still good it's still working no issues at all okay so i highly recommend or you can just check out other bottle sterilizers that you think might work for you next item on my list is a bob cloth okay um oh i just realized i don't have one here with me anyway so you're going to need a good number of bob clothes to bob your baby because after feeding when you bob them they tend to spit up a little amount of milk okay i also found myself using it in between the feeding session especially when my baby takes his mouth off the breast sometimes if i'm not wearing a breast pad i just use it to hold my nipple and catch those um, little drops of milk that'll be coming out because i don't want them to drop on my bra okay i think it's just a good idea to have one with you at all times because you never can tell what you will need it for okay so i decided to add this to my list as well and this is just um, a nursing clothes or a nursing top i wouldn't really say this is an essential item but for me it was kind of an essential item and i'll tell you why so if you look here you can see that this top has two zips on the two sides whenever i needed to breastfeed i just open it up like this so instead of having to lift up your top or your blouse from the bottom side like this thereby exposing your tummy then you can just open up the clothes from here and breastfeed your baby okay also what you can do is to wear button down shirts i used to wear a lot of button down shirts especially those first few weeks or months postpartum when you have to go to doctor's appointments or when you're just going out and you need to breastfeed your baby in the public so again like i said instead of lifting your clothes from the bottom like this and exposing your tummy you just unbutton it from top like this and breastfeed your baby okay we just need a bit of privacy when we are breastfeeding our baby so next on my list is a nipple shield or a nipple cover okay i personally didn't use one but i've heard people that used one say it was a lifesaver for them okay it's just like a small silicone cover that is placed over the nipple especially if you have sore nipple or cracked nipple or maybe your baby is having 
latching issues okay that being said i also wanted to quickly say that i am not a medical doctor i'm not a lactation specialist okay so please if you have any issues with latching you have any issues with breastfeeding please check with your doctor okay or you can check with a lactation consultant or a lactation specialist so the last thing i'd like to talk about today is your breastfeeding supplement okay if you are a breastfeeding mom please take your breastfeeding supplements very seriously okay because there are lots of benefits that you can get from taking your breastfeeding supplements okay the vitamins and nutrients i used to take that very well in the first few months postpartum but to be honest I've not really taken it for some time now because I don't know. I just used to forget. <laughs> I also used to take a lot of oatmeal. I don't know if I should classify that as a breastfeeding supplement, but oatmeal really used to help with my milk flow. Whenever I notice that my milk has gone down a little bit, I just take oatmeal and everything is up again. It really used to work like magic. I don't know what it is with oatmeal and breastfeeding so yeah if you are looking to boost your milk production you can try oatmeal as well because that really worked for me and i think it might work for you as well all right guys that's it for today's video hope you enjoyed watching don't forget to like this video please subscribe to my channel and share this video to any expecting mom out there because it might be very useful to them okay thank you for watching and i'll see you all in my next video bye